Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS examinee. And this uh, question is very important and this time the uh, type of question is very very important for MRCS exam. And in the MRCS exam, the skull base foramina is a common topic and important topic and repetitive question are present in this uh, areas. So here the question, first of all, read the question here. Which statement is false about the foramen of the skull? That means at the base of the foramen, there are different type, uh, base of the skull, there are different type of foramen. And in the different type of foramen, there are different structure first. So we have to find out the options, which is not true in this case. That means in the base of the skull. So here are the options. They are the hypoglossal canal transmits the hypoglossal nerve. Foramen spinosum is lies at the base of the medial pterygoid plate the jugular foramen transmit the accessory nerve the foramen lacerum is located between the sphenoid and temporal bones and stylomastoid foramen transmit the facial nerve so we have to find out one of the options in the question which is not true that is false in case of the base of the skull foramen so here the options first of all we can see in the first picture in this picture we can see this is the cut section of the base of the skull here the frontal area then temporal area and then posterior cranial fossa mainly in the occipital area so here we can see there is a marked area here this is the important uh, foramen this this foramen is the hypoglossal canal and we can see the in the hypoglossal canal there is a nerve and this nerve is hypoglossal nerve so in the hypoglossal canal through the hypoglossal canal hypoglossal nerve passed and we can see in the posterior cranial fossa some other foramen such as this is this is the jugular foramen here also can see here the jugular foramen and the another foramen just above it this is the internal acoustic meatus internal acoustic meatus so in the posterior cranial fossa there are the three important foramen this is the internal acoustic foramen jugular foramen and hypoglossal canal and the bigger one the biggest one this is the foramen magnum so these four important foramen are present in the posterior cranial fossa and among them through the hypoglossal canal hypoglossal nerve passed and we can see in the middle cranial fossa and in the middle cranial fossa it is mainly formed by the temporal bone here we can see this is the temporal bone and in the middle cranial fossa there are the different foramen also and here we can see this is the jugular foramen here is the large version of the jugular foramen and through the jugular foramen we can see three important structure first and uh, important structure this is nerve first and another on a vein first so we have to uh, know the name we can see this is the glossopharyngeal nerve that is the ninth cranial nerve then vagus nerve this is the 10th cranial nerve and then there is another one this is the spinal accessory nerve or accessory nerve here we can see this is the accessory nerve this accessory nerve is also passed so cranial nerve 9 cranial nerve 10 and cranial nerve 11 these three important nerve passed through this jugular foramen and the 12th cranial nerve this is that is the hypoglossal canal this is separated from these three and it passed through the hypoglossal canal and we can see another big big structure passes through here and this is the internal jugular vein so the jugular foramen it is named after this vein this is the internal jugular vein so this jugular foramen is very very important uh, for study skull base foramina because through these foramen three important nerve passes that is the cranial nerve 9, 10 and 11 that means this is the 9 glossopharyngeal 10 vagus and 11 is accessory and on important vein which is most important vein of the uh, brain this is the internal jugular vein because the all of the almost all of the uh, blood uh, then returns to the heart through this jugular foramen that exit from the cranial cavity so jugular foramen it contains four structure or four structure passes through the jugular foramen this is the cranial nerve glossopharyngeal vagus and accessory and on vein this is the internal jugular vein so these four important structure have to remember by 
any means and the hypoglossal canal this is also important and in this picture we can see this is the stylomastoid foramen stylomastoid foramen and it's present in the outer part of the temporal bone just in front of this process this is the mastoid process and in this picture we can see it is highlighted the middle cranial fossa and middle cranial fossa is mainly formed by the temporal bone and parts of the sphenoid bone and we can see in the middle cranial fossa there are the different foramen that is the foramen rotundum then foramen ovale then foramen spinosum so three important foramen here present foramen rotundum from an ovale and from an spinosum and we can see the another from in here this is the foramen lacerum if we see this foramen this is not a smooth edge this is somewhat lacerated after this this name is foramen lacerum that means lacerated part of the base of the skull so and we can see these the foramen they are present in the middle cranial fossa and also we can see this is the anterior cranial fossa and anterior cranial fossa that is this is important this is the cribriform plate of the ethmoid and also can see this is the pituitary fossa in this pituitary fossa pituitary gland lies and in front of pituitary fossa here we can see the two uh, opening here and this is the opening of the optic canal so through this the optic nerve passes so in the middle cranial fossa these three important foramen is important that is the foramen rotundum foramen ovale and foramen spinosum and also the foramen lacerum so here finally we can see which is false hypoglossal canal transmit hypoglossal nerve this is true we saw that in the uh, picture then foramen spinosum it lies at the base of the medial trigeminal bullet it is not true because here this is the foramen spinosum and from his spinosum it lies in the middle cranial fossa but on the other hand the middle pterygoid place it lies in this here that means in the opposite part this is the outer part and this is the inner part of the base of the skull so from an spinosum it lies in the uh, middle cranial fossa not in the medial pterygoid plate and the jugular form transmit accessory nerve it is uh, true accessory nerve it is 11th uh, number of the cranial nerve and it passes through the jugular foramen uh, with another two nerve this is the glossopharyngeal and vagus and also with the internal jugular vein and the foramen lacerum it is located between the uh, sphenoid and the temporal it is also true because this part this is the sphenoid and this part is the temporal part and the last one the stylo mastoid foramen transmit the facial nerve it is also true because here the facial nerve uh, in, uh, exits from the uh, inner part of the base of the skull. This is the internal acoustic meatus and it exits through this foramen and this foramen is stylobustoid foramen. So our final answer, this foramen is spinosum, it lies at the base of the medial trigoid field. It is not true and it is the answer of this question. Thank you all.